What up, what up, what up? It is Coach Blaza, okay? This shirt right now says she overcame everything that was sent to destroy her. And you can overcome too. So let me send this live. This is called Pixels and Perspectives, okay? With Coach Blaza and our special guest today, Brittany, okay? So she should be ready. All right. Hey, what it do, y'all? Welcome in. I'm going to get our special guest on this. Go. And comment the word pretty right now, y'all. Let's start this live off right, okay? How y'all doing today? Hello. Hey, hello. everyone. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Excited. Good to hear. Good to hear. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me get this camera. All right. Um, is that a virtual background? Why is that color so perfect? It's, it's a, my light. It's a VTAR light. I think it's called VTAR. Oh, VTAR. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's nice. <laughs> okay. So let me get my questions pulled up right here. Okay. So just tell us who you are. So I am Brittany Bell of Create by Brittany Bell. We are a social media uh, marketing agency. We specialize in content production and LinkedIn uh, management. We also manage Instagrams as well um, and uh, TikTok pages. But LinkedIn magician, I consider myself. We help uh, B2, B2C businesses market themselves B2B and um, get higher ticket clients on LinkedIn. Um, and we also help them get sponsorships, you name it, um, drive traffic to events. We do a lot of that on LinkedIn. Um, and then we also help with uh, content production, creating high quality content, content that's going to uh, speak to your target audience to help them convert, build community and create no, uh, the like no trust factor. So yeah, that's what we do. Okay, okay, okay. So what made you get started in this field? So I actually started out as an artist. I started out as an artist um, and I created a new Instagram page to help drive traffic to sell art essentially. And I was able to get sales in three months um, from a brand new Instagram page. And then from that, I was able to see that there were a lot of businesses that weren't able to bridge that gap between their target audience and what they were selling. And it was because everyone, one was being too salesy. They didn't know how to create community. And so I started doing that for other businesses and fell in love with marketing. So yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Now, let me get this right. Are you a graphic designer or just like a marketing agency? So marketing agency, we do graphic design as well. Um, so we understand, you know, we do graphic design, but we also do a lot of content production. So a lot of video uh, production as well um, for like editing content. We use Canva that we hear with Canva, you know, and CapCut for uh, video editing. Um, so yeah, we create graphics. We create all forms of content basically in our agency. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got you. All right. So I have two different sets of questions. So one is like, are you the graphic designer or do you have a graphic designer? So I have been the graphic designer. Now we have a team. So I'm able to outsource okay. that, drive traffic into the business. And I like to think of myself as a strategist. So where I come into play now is while I'm not doing the graphic design so much anymore, I'm sending updates to my team to let them know the latest and greatest. Of course, they're looking at that themselves, but we work together at that as a team to make sure that we're up on the latest graphic design trends. And then um, I work as a strategist so that the graphics can speak to who the target audience is without being too salesy. And so that's where um, we kind of partner together and work as a team. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay. You guys, make sure you hit the arrow at the top. Follow my girl, okay? Because this is some good stuff. I'm very interested. So, um, all right. So our next question is, how do you go about interpreting the client's brand to come up with a design that aligns with their vision? Yeah, great question. So we put together a brand content kit um, because essentially you don't know until you build the conversation and have that conversation with the account owner and a lot can't be discovered in a discovery call right that's like a get to know do i like your vibe do i think i can make you successful yes great and then we move past that but then we like need time to what we call research and prep we give two weeks to get to know our client and also to give us to get them to give us a lot of feedback. So we put together this brand content kit. It includes uh, what we think they want for their graphics, 
their uh, reels, for example, because we do that and we put together their messaging, right? The words that we're using on their graphics. For example, we had a client who um, didn't like to address her audience. Like, for example, you have a, a way that you speak to your audience, right? You'll say, you know, pretty girls don't work. Those are things that we don't know to incorporate and include in the lingo until we go to create that brand content kit. So we send that over to them everything that we think they want and then we're looking for feedback at that point like let us know everything we did wrong everything that you don't like so we can make those tweaks and then we can get in the groove of creating the content that you really want through having that feedback okay that's good that's good okay um okay you already said you use canva okay because i'm a canva queen what all day. okay all day. <laughs> period period okay. okay so we got that um why did you choose Canva in the beginning of it all? It was just e easier. It's a lot easier to navigate. I think, like, for me, I was never, every time I hear Adobe, I, like, I kind of get scared, low key, because it seems so intimidating. Like, you got to really go to school. Even going into it, it just seems like it was too much to know, and I wasn't going to know how to, like, put it on there. I like that, especially with Canva getting started, they had the templates there that I was able to work with and, like, tweak to my own. So you kind of was able to, like, start off a little lazy with it, and then you can get into the technical stuff as I got on um, and went on uh, in time. But, the, yeah, Adobe is extremely scary. It's tim it, very intimidating. Yeah. Canva feels like home, you know? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, even one of my mentors, he's a graphic designer and knows how to do Photoshop. He like, oh, I love Canva. I love it. I'm like, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and the templates, the templates are the main thing that I teach about my Canva to Cash program. Mm -hmm. And I tell you how to take a template and then how to sell it. So redesign it or make your own, right, to sell. I love that. Um, how do you stay up to date with design trends? So really... TikTok, like I will go on TikTok just to see. So, and also, okay, TikTok one, and then ultimately it's consuming content. I consume content on TikTok and I'm consuming TikTok on Instagram and I'll see a graphic and I'm like, oh, I love that. I love that. What is that that they're doing? And then I'll go and play in Canva myself and then figure that out. Like, uh, for example, the 3D text, the 3D uh, text that you can put on a graphic or even a video, like that's like my number one, Thing that I was able to like find out I saw this year and then was able to like do it for myself through learning through others just because I consumed it um, from someone else's content you know so as I'm looking at content I'm always looking in the eye in the lens of okay that's really cool how did they do that and how can we incorporate it for our clients so yeah mm -hmm. that's good okay um, can you give us an example of an challenging project you have worked on and how you overcame the obstacles to still deliver a successful mm -hmm. product mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh so yes happens a lot and it always the bottom line is always communication like communication we call them aos account owners like it's always going to be something where someone didn't understand it. it's kind of like um Oftentimes, people want graphic designs. They have the best interest at heart when they come to partner with you. They like your work, obviously, but they don't know how to communicate their vision, right? And so it's asking tons of questions, you know what I mean, to get to the bottom of that. And, and just saying like, hey, you know, I want, I, am, I appreciate your patience and all of it. Like, this is what we do with all of our accounts so that we can get to what it is that you want because it's going to take some time. But that's why, like, charging them for a little extra time to figure that out is really important because also you got deadlines and if you pass that deadline and you don't include that extra cushion that extra time to to figure things out already in your quote it can get chaotic because they're like you're like and it's like well actually you caused me to be late, be late because you didn't know what you wanted you know what i mean and so if you put that into your packaging that helps a lot and so yeah communication has helped me a lot and, Tons of cases. <laughs> Good. I hope y'all taking notes because uh, we do like graphic design, marketing, but whatever you do, you can apply what she's saying right now. So just drop a, drop some fire in the chat. If you're feeling it, if you're loving this live, hit the arrow at the top. Give us a follow. I'll follow you, follow you back when I get off of this live. And of course, comment the word pretty to come to my event in Dayton where I'm teaching content, Canva, branding um, to help you improve your business. Okay. Okay, so let me let me make sure we got a question because you answer these questions quick. Hold on now. <laughs> I know. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Hey." laughs> um okay.
okay so uh let's see what's the funnest part about what you do i of course like the freedom you know what i mean to be able to just have your own schedule be in charge of that like that's everything that's why i took a leap into that like me personally to slow it down and give y'all some depth too. like a little backstory about me is i uh started this business because i had a daughter and i knew that i couldn't work like i was going to work at a call center and i was like okay i can't do this even trying to like sell art it wasn't enough to pay the bills but everybody obviously needs a digital marketing manager or content of some sort like getting your hands in web two in social media in any way any form of sales fashion like you're gonna win that way and so um, I went to do that and that helped me out a lot to be able to like have my own schedule. But the thing that I love the most is that I can be creative coming from a, like an art background is that I can still like create and, you know, bring something to life and have fun. It's like arts and crafts online. Like, why not? You know what I mean? And so that's what I love the most is that I get to have fun with what I do. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, that's good. That's good. Um, so this is kind of like the two part question. Um, is mentorship big for you? And if so, who did you go to for help in this field? Her name is Jody K. Edwards. So at Jody K J O D I K A Y and then Edwards. Um, so you guys can look her up. She um, taught me pretty much everything I knew to get started. Um, in, in graphic design, social media, uh, and everything. She, she, and she still has uh, a lot to share, like just in a lot of her content. So I highly recommend that you guys go follow her. Um, that's who, who my mentor was. And she, even like, as time goes on, like I'll still reach out to her to learn new things. Cause she's kind of in a different field. She's not so much, she does branding now. Um, she's the one who gave me the idea for the brand content kit. Um, and it's something that she does on her own to get aligned with her clients. And I started incorporating that and things started to go a lot smoother. So, um, and that was just this year. Oh, this year. Look, can you send me that post? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, for real. Post, I sure, will. <laughs> I, I sure I will. know what it is, but I can brand <laughs> myself, so I'm interested yeah. in that. Uh -huh. I'll send oh. it to you. Okay, thank you. Um, so our last question is, if you had only a hundred dollars and you started a new business outside of what you do now, what would you start with just that hundred dollar investment? Hmm. Okay. okay. I would say social media in some aspect, because you don't need any overhead. You don't have to pay for, for a product, right? Or like to, to put something on or you don't have to pay for uh, someone else to do the work, right? I would say if I just had $100, I would get started in, and, and, and right now I would get started in uh, some type, some form of AI, like consulting along with social media uh, management. What I, and I'm sharing this with y'all because this is what I'm gonna do myself. And that's um, go into sharing with companies how they compare ai with social media management i think that's the next big thing because a lot of businesses they already have social media managers or graphic designers but you can go in there and let them know how you can use canva for example for for you guys go in how you can use canva and um use ai to help them speed up their process to get more content out and and, and quicker uh, in a more efficient way and you can go in as the expert because i'm always thinking about ways that i can turn that hundred dollars not to 500 anymore right we're past that we want to turn it into 5,000 how can we get the most out of our effort and our expert uh, in our expertise and then sharing you know that 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 value that you have up here and making people do a lot more in less time people go crazy for that right that's why they get graphic designers they don't want to do it themselves or learn how to do it themselves so they hire you but working how can you take it a step further than that so yeah that's what I would do oh that was good because I literally had the same thought myself like months ago. I was like, AI could really save these companies a lot of money, a lot of time. I'm like, mm -hmm. how could I um, pitch that? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. how could I so that's good. Yeah, yeah. That is good. Um, and LinkedIn is where it's at. That's where you make those connections. Like, that's where you close those deals because those large companies are there. They need the help. They just, and you can reach the cool thing about LinkedIn is like you can reach out quickly and just be like, hey, do you need help with this? I just closed, you know, two deals uh, within the past three months that are going to help us in 2024 to be able to do that with other uh, clients as well. But that's where that 
B2B business to business sales happens and how you, you know, can leverage what you're doing now and help a larger company because they need it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And these companies love the same sometimes. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really mm -hmm. um, For real. <laughs> hit that arrow at the top. Make sure you follow Brittany, okay? She is very educated, what she does. Very knowledgeable is what I was wanting to mm -hmm. say. Um, so thank you for coming here. Um, is there anything else you would want to tell the people before we go? Um, if you're not on LinkedIn, get on LinkedIn and definitely, um, yeah, stay up to date on all the current, uh, on all the current trends because it's not too late to get started. That's why you definitely want to go in and check out like that. Her pretty girls don't work intensive. Make sure you get your ticket to that because I can already tell it's going to give you a lot of value for what you need to know to help you take, to help take yourself to the next level. So entering in 2024, take the leap. That's all I have to say to give some advice, positivity, motivation, take the leap and um, yeah, mm -hmm. invest in yourself. That's good. Comment the word pretty, y'all. Y'all heard it here first. She said, take the leap, okay? I want more in 24, and if you want more in 24, it's time for us to get it. So it's Coach Ablaza, and I'm here to tell you that you can, you will, and you must be demanding. You can because you're capable. You will because you're strong, and you must because they count on you. Drop it in the comments, y'all. Who is counting on you to get more in 24, to invest into yourself? I know I'm counting on myself to get more. My kids are counting on me to lead by example, and my family, community, and my boss friends are counting on me for generational health, wealth, and mindset. Okay, I'm ready to impact more people in 24, and you should be ready to as well. Uh, thank well, you, Brittany, again for coming. Have a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later. My pleasure. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.